Hello and welcome to the Cold Coffee Club, a podcast brought to you by Houston Moms. We're here to give you a little bit of that mom-to-mom connection, fun, and conversation amidst all the chaos. Join us as we take a break from doing all the things and explore the wide spectrum of this crazy motherhood role. We'll interview fun guests, talk about cool grown-up topics, laugh, share, and grow together. So go ahead, reheat that coffee and put your feet up. Here we go. Good morning. Welcome to the Cold Coffee Club. This is Jenny. And this is Ashley. Welcome. Welcome. Let's spill the tea today, Ash. What's got, what, blah, what do you got going on? <laughs> <laughs> so my tea, my win right now is that I am absolutely loving the um, one day May social media thing that um, Laura oh, Tremaine fine. is doing. Yeah. So she is the author of share your stuff. I'll go first 10 questions to take your friendship to the next level. Um, and it's all about digging deeper. And so her one day May thing is, is just us sharing every single day based on a prompt. And uh, okay, I'm just, I'm loving it. Seeing the community that follows her, seeing what they share. Um, I've learned some new books that I want to read. I've gotten to just see new faces. New people are liking my stuff that I didn't know before. And I've connected with some of those people. So it's been a lot of fun. I'm, I'm loving this trend and it's a, it's a good time. Good way to connect with I've people. I've seen I've seen a lot of people doing it and it's been really fun to like, see. Yeah. Things. I love that. Yeah. Uh, my tea is, um, I have for years loved another podcast called the pop cast <laughs> with Knox and Jamie, Knox McCoy and Jamie golden. And I've loved them for so long that I got to go this weekend to see, um, their live show. I got to see them live in person and their show has gotten so big that they have a full staff and it was kind of a big production. Yeah. Was, um, I think almost like 3000 people there in the wow. audience. And they had a live stream as well. Cause they've done several live shows and this was their last one. So they had people watching online as well. And it was just really big and fun. And, um, it was just, you know, I have them in my ears every week. And so being able to like, see them, like, I'm like, look, there they are. <laughs> uh, but it was just a blast and they were very funny. And, um, it was just, I'm like, it was weird. I was like, I've listened to them for so long, I mean, years and years. And years. I mean, I think, I feel like it's been almost four or five years now. Yeah. So seeing them and how big it is, I was like oddly proud of them. Like, I was hmm. like, look at you guys, like, look at this room full of people. So <laughs> it, that's awesome. Uh, I'm so glad you got to go. If, if you're interested, if you're the kind of person that's interested in like silly pop culture, award shows and the bachelor and you know kind of surface level uh if you need a break from heavy uh i highly recommend the podcast so. yeah fun anyways so what are we talking about today ashley what are we going to yeah. discuss we are doing a hot topic. We are discussing the birds and the bees and how it pertains to parenthood. When we have these conversations with our kids, how yes. we have these conversations with our kids. Um, you know, I think it's one of those things that not a lot of us really know how to go about it. <laughs> yes. And it's, it's uncomfortable at times. And yeah. So first off, Jenny, like, how do you approach it? Have you had the talk with your children yet? Yes. Um, so not definitely not that much with my youngest. He is mm -hmm. six. Um, I mean, we, we talk about like the anatomy, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, that kind of thing, but, um, not as not really as far as, um, like the act of, uh, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, with my daughter, um, I would say with her, I view it not so much as like the talk. I view it more as an ongoing yes. conversation. Absolutely. Um, uh, it is. And that's just kind of organically how it has happened. Um, my view with her is I, and I've told her this, that you are always welcome to talk to me when you mm -hmm. have questions. Um, you know, things have come up where she has overheard things from other kids mm -hmm. where, what does this word mean? Um, why is this like that? And, oh, you know, I watched this movie and they said this thing, what did that mean? Um, so, and she is admittedly, I will say just naturally, she is a pretty naive kid. Mm -hmm. and she kind of sees everything, uh, 
real sunshine and rainbows and uh, like, yeah, you know, and I, I don't know if that's as much as that we've sheltered her is that she's just very much like that. Yeah. It's so sometimes she's all, and, and there have been times I will say that something has happened and she will realize that it, there is a, a more adult meaning to something than she even knows. And she has flat out said to me, I don't want to know. Mm. Like, I don't, I'll be like, Hey, this is a grown up thing. And I can talk to you about that. And she'll say, I don't want to know. Mm-hmm. And to me, I will respect that she is not ready to learn about this part yet. Yeah. Um, as, as soon as I say, because sometimes it'll be a grown up thing and there'll be other people around, or I'm like, this is a conversation we need to have in a different setting just because right. it's just not, this isn't the moment. <laughs> like right. We, need to, we need to just kind of be alone where I can kind of be where we're not, you know, in a grocery store. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so she will sometimes just say, I don't, I don't want to know about it. Um, and there will come a time where I'll need to push that boundary a little bit and just go, well, Hey, you know, Hey, you're 17. Maybe we, <laughs> <laughs> we need to not- talk about a few things. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> She's only nine. Um, right. <laughs> but, um, I want to also know that if she's a kid that wants to be a kid, I'm not going to force her to learn about grown up things if she doesn't mm-hmm. want to learn about grown up things yet, mm-hmm. you know, but I also want her to learn it from me yeah. before she learns it from other people. So right. um, it's just an open conversation as yeah. well as keeps happening. So to answer, that was a long way to say, we have not had quote unquote, the talk, right? Uh, we are having lots of talks. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so many, so many talks and yes. Uh, yeah. I They've love been that. Interesting. <laughs> They've been interesting. <laughs> yep. Yes. No, I love that. I, yes. so I, I recently, I'm a part of a, a mops group. Um, and okay. we, so it's religious based, which, um, is different than my perspective, but I enjoy hearing other people's perspectives. And so, um, we just recently had like a mom panel where they were just sharing, there were five moms at different stages, but mostly older. Um, and they were kind of explaining to us, a lot of different things. We had several questions. And so we got each of their perspectives on each question. When we got to the topic of sex, uh, the consensus was that there's a certain age that you're supposed to have this conversation and that many of them in a sense regretted having that conversation. One woman said, you know, when I had that conversation with my daughter, she stopped playing with her dolls immediately. I'm like, well, that's, interesting I, I okay and she's hmm. like immediately she lost her innocence and I was like well okay that's that's interesting so my perspective is very much like yours in the sense that it should be an ongoing thing it should be kind of age appropriate we should be you know from the very beginning using proper words for body parts okay that's our first sure. step into having these conversations and then right. it's like you know like with my boys when I was pregnant, they had lots of questions. They're like, what is that? Where is it going to come out? What is happening? What are you doing? Why are you so different from me? (laughs) I'm like, well, I have this because I'm this and there's that. So it's like those little steps make it to where that, that the, the big conversation isn't so much of a shock. (laughs) So it's like, okay, we kind of know that like, dads have this situation going on. Moms have this. And like, my boys basically understand like, mom has this in her body dad has this they come together <laughs> and I'm like okay right. yeah stick with that we don't need to yeah we don't really talk about the act or anything but um so yeah I think it's I think it's a great approach for me personally and I don't I can't speak for everyone but just kind of leading into that conversation age by age step by step mm-hmm. and you know of course when you're pregnant your kids are just like well how'd that get in there and I'm like you know right. telling children that it's it's going to come out of your belly button. It's just going to make very things very confusing. <laughs> like that, right. that's going to be tough. I, I don't know if that's really what you want to be telling them. Um, but yeah, I, and my boys are very just fascinated with me in general because I'm the only girl in the house. So they're like, you are right. odd. <laughs> Everything's very different. Yes. They're like, well, I don't and understand. I think, you know, at this age, I think, especially with like younger ones, you can answer questions very fact 
based yeah. and, and they're, and sometimes I think they're very okay with just being able to receive a yes or a no. And, yeah. a, um, you know, they're, they're, they don't need a ton more explanation right. and just, uh, the answer to this is that, okay, bye. <laughs> um, but my, my daughter is starting, I, I think the, the part that's been getting a little more, um, tricky is as she, you know, she's a tween girl and mm-hmm. her girlfriends, some of them are getting their periods. Mm-hmm. And so she's, you know, with them when things are happening. And so we're discussing that. And mm-hmm. then, um, so it's almost like, as we're almost like discussing things, a, like a, almost like a step before they happen. Right. Um, but, um, the thing we have to be careful about is that kids have older siblings Mm -hmm. um and ellie is an oldest child um Mm -hmm. and so but she has friends at school that are not the oldest child and so you might have boys they're girls too i shouldn't just say boys but (laughs) there are you know sorry that was a stereotypical statement Uh, but there are friends at school that could have a brother who's in 11th grade Mm -hmm. you know who talk about things in the home and um you know, their 10 year old brother hears things. And yeah. so, yeah, you know, like, what is that? You know, right. and uh, you're just like, well, that's things that you don't normally hear at your house. You know? right. So we gotta, <laughs> we gotta talk about stuff and yeah, it's, and yeah. it's, you know, and things that you just think, wow, they're already hearing this in yeah. at this age, but you know, again, I want her to always be comfortable coming to me. And so mm-hmm. my reaction is always never like, you are never going to be in trouble for asking. Right. Me a question. Right. That is right. Never. You're never going to be in trouble for saying, what does this word mean? Mm-hmm. I never, uh, it's so hard because my number one goal is to never look shocked or taken aback by what she <laughs> says. I never want to go, oh, what? You know, I always am like, hmm, hmm. Interesting. Huh. Where, huh. Where'd you hear that? Huh. <laughs> mm. Mommy just that needs is... a few breaths real quick. Hold mm. on. <laughs> mm. I am fine with this question. Huh. Okay. <laughs> and I just am like turning around and facing a bookshelf for a second. Okay. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> huh. Totally normal. Totally normal. Yep. I wouldn't discuss this with my own friend group, but okay. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's just those kind of thing. And you're just like, yeah. that is a thing that is a thing. And you're, you're like trying to like find a very like textbook answer that you're like, how would I not say this in a way that was said on like sex in the city? How yeah. would I? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it's just that. But yeah. you're, when you're not prepared for it, yeah. you're just like, wow, how do I say this to a nine-year-old? Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, and they always just throw it at you. Like not yeah. even any buildup, like, okay, well, there was this, and I was wondering about that. And then like, and then it led to this. It's just like, Hey mom, what's this? <laughs> well, and it used to be, she would be like, Hey, I want to tell you something that happened. You know, a friend at my school said the S word today and the S word is stupid. Oh, like, oh, I oh love man. It. <laughs> but then now like she's coming home and she's like a friend said this and you're like oh, okay <laughs> you know, like, oh man oh gosh wow yeah um, and so, tv is full of like innuendos and like oh just the commercial oh, you know yeah. it's not even like they're watching anything exactly like, yeah I was just telling someone about that. I was like, it's not even the shows you have to pay attention to. It's the commercials now. Mm-hmm. Or just oh billboards. Like, and yeah. just driving, just billboards. And yep. Yeah. Yep. Like, wow. Okay. It's, it's a whole lot. So, mm-hmm. and I, it's, <laughs> it's really fun having boys. Uh, oh, I'm sure. I had, I had lunch with Elizabeth Baker, our editor, um, a while back. And my children came to the bathroom with me. And I was like, I'm going to go too. They're in the stall with me. My youngest yells out into the restaurant, Oliver, mom pees out of her butt. And I'm like, oh, neat. 
Mm-hmm. Thank you for that, sir. That's just, nice. Just Thank announced you. it. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So then we had to have a conversation real quick. I was like, by the way, you already know this. I, it's not where it comes from. You stop it. It's <laughs> not it. <laughs> and it's just, just so it's constant. The whole restaurant knows about that. But yeah. thanks, everybody. Enjoy yes. your meal, everyone. Yes. yes. Thank you. Meal. Yeah. So my kids are, they're learning a lot. Cause I, I am very open with my children for the most part. I mean, to their mental capacity, to their age appropriateness. Sure. Right. Right. So right. I'm like, yeah, this is why I'm different. And this is the stuff I have to do and this, and you don't have to worry about that. And I don't like it because you should, you should have to go through this too. Cause it's nonsense. Yep. <laughs> yep. And, and so I, and one question I have for you is, do you feel like the parent who has these talks with the kid do you think dads should have the talk with with boys and moms should only be having the talk with their daughter um so I mean in a sense I feel like it lends itself to that like my husband would not know what to say to her about a period like it's just not I mean and and I would be like don't you even dare like because like there's I mean bless her heart she when I talked to her about periods you know, I like laid it all out and she was fascinated and she was so confused. And, and she, one of the questions she had was, does it hurt? Mm -hmm. And I said, well, kind of, I mean, like I was explaining cramps yeah. and, and I think she was asking like, does it hurt when it's hap- like actively happening. Yeah. I was like, no, no, no. Like, cause I think she's thinking bleeding. Like you get, yes, you know, yes. you your cut and you bleed, yeah. like, that's painful. And I was like, no, it's not like that. Yeah. And I said, think of it this way. I said, it's happened once a month to me, your entire life. Yeah. You didn't know. Like yeah. you didn't know that it was happening. And she goes, it still happens to you. And I said, yes. And she goes, does dad know? He, he does. He's he been knows. made aware. He knows about it. Actually. He was very aware. Um, but oh, I will so also cute. say, to be honest with you, I am, was raised in a girl house. Um, mm-hmm. I had only sisters and just, again, very girl centric home. Mm-hmm. Um and I will be very honest with you that raising my son, um, th- his whole situation <laughs> and future <laughs> is an area that I feel very ill-equipped to handle. Okay. Um, I feel very, I mean, I need to, I'm like, well, I gotta get some books. I, I don't <laughs> feel, I feel, I mean, there are times that like stuff has, there has been issues there with just like medical stuff related that mm-hmm. I like look at my husband. I'm like, is this do I need to call a doctor? Like mm-hmm. what's happening here? Yeah. Um, I, that has been something that like, I have had to tag team and go, I need mm-hmm. you to handle what yeah. that is. Yeah. Um, and so, I mean, and granted, if he were not around, I would totally be right. The per- I mean, I'm in, but to answer your question, yes. I feel like it naturally lends itself to mm-hmm. be like, I would assume that there will come a day that certain conversations mm-hmm. would be had by my husband. Right. Okay. My son. Yeah. And I would assume that whenever my daughter and I have some of the more detailed conversations about mm-hmm. things, I would assume it would be me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know that he needs to be present for that. Okay. Um, I don't think it would be bad if he was. Yeah. Um, but I think she would probably be more comfortable asking Mm -hmm. further questions if he wasn't there. Right. Yeah. Um, And they have a great relationship. It's not like a, yeah, I just, I just think that she would probably be like, I don't, yeah. I don't need both of you here. <laughs> She's going to be like, what? Um, so, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I might change all my answers to that. You know, ask me again in two years. And I'm right. like, oh no, that all got turned upside down. Yeah. yeah. But, um, I mean, there, it is, it's just different, but yeah, we'll yeah. see. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. This, this whole, this whole situation, it's just like, Mm -hmm. and I don't have any daughters. Don't think about. Yeah. 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 And I don't have any girls. So it's kind of like, okay, well, 
what do y'all want to know? And like, and my yes. big thing yeah, is yeah. like, nothing about any of this is shameful whatsoever. Everything about oh, it for is sure. natural. For and sure. so, yeah. So like to, with my boys, it's just kind of like, okay, well, that's just, it is what it is. Like whatever. And yeah. my oldest is, is nine as well. And I know that he's getting into that age and he's starting to right. like girls. And I'm like, what? No stop that oh, immediately <laughs> like I don't like any of it and so he's like I don't know I just I get this feeling like I like her and I'm like oh no okay um okay. oh um please stop <laughs> yeah. yeah my boys I feel That's like they exciting. have a, a very interesting understanding of me as a woman and as being their like the first woman in their lives I think that's it's kind of fascinating but yes, I, so I love how you mentioned that. <laughs> like, it was like, does it hurt? Cause you're bleeding my, I swear my boys have walked into the bathroom and they have just ghost white. They're like, are you okay? I'm oh, like, yeah. get, get out. Yeah. Like, first of all, stop walking yeah. in here. <laughs> I'm like, well, and they, fine. I mean, and I get, I get that logic. Cause she's yes. like, I mean, when I am normally, if I'm bleeding, like I have yes. been injured. You know? yes. And so I was like, because at first I was like, yeah, it does kind of hurt. And then when I like saw that train of thought, I was like, well, no, not in the way that you yeah. think it hurt. Like, yeah. I, it's not, it's not actively like, yeah. you're not like, ow, you know? Right. So, yeah. okay. But let's oh, one pivot book a little recommendation. Bit. One book oh, recommendation yes, yes, before yes. we go. Yes. So when I was pregnant, uh, my boys were fascinated with what was happening. We found the book, The Baby Tree by Sophie Blackall. And it is okay. it's adorable. It's, it's like, it's adorable. It, this kid is trying to figure out where babies come from and everyone's giving him okay. a different answer. And it's like, okay, well, it's a little bit of that answer. And it's a little of that answer. And it's a little of that one. Here's cute. what it really is. And it's adorable. The baby so, tree. Okay. Yes. That's cute. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we wanted to mention um, a restaurant on San Felipe and Post Oak down in the Galleria area. And it's called the Original Chop Shop. Mm -hmm. And they were kind enough to host our team um, of contributors um, there for a little Mother's Day lunch. And they yeah. were so kind to us. So yes. we wanted to give them a shout out. Delicious. Yes. Original Chop are. Shop. Featured as our cream and sugar this week. Thank you so yes, much for having that us. Is our cream and sugar. Yeah. And so before we go, also, I just wanted to give a little, our uh, see you later caffeinator and mm -hmm. kind of time back to what we talked about today, um, which I just thought this was such a fascinating fact, yeah. which is that on average, lefties, left-handed people go through puberty later than righties. In a study of 713 females and 467 males, Researchers found that typical markers of puberty, such as the onset of body hair, uh, tended to come later for left-handers. One of the oh. authors of that study, Dr. Stanley Corin, subsequently suggested in a letter to the Journal of the American Medical Association that maybe this could somehow be related to lefties' slightly smaller stature on average. Oh, so the that more is you know. Yeah. Are any if of you your kids left lefties? No. Okay. Mm -mm. Mine either. Not, a, not, a, not at my house. Okay. We'll see. Interesting. Anyway, so wow. that's our talk today. We will see y'all next week. Thank you for joining yes. us on the Cold Coffee Club. Bye-bye. Bye. You've been listening to the Cold Coffee Club, brought to you by Houston Moms. We wish you a fabulous week with your families and look forward to sharing many more cups of cold coffee with you.